Are you calling me? I'm obviously calling you. I'm calling you. It's probably finishing it. Okay. Here he goes. There you are. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. What's written on you? Uh, um, let me see what um, does it say. Luck, la luck, laughter, and limericks. Okay, so what is limerick? I don't know. <laughs> me neither. Okay, how are you doing, child? Is the computer on? Are getting longer and longer? I guess. Oh. Alright, let's go yeah. get the violin. It's right here. I just do that thing. <laughs> like a little scale thing. The jiggy. <laughs> oh, be quiet. Are you took down, child? Yes, I just did like a scale in the middle arpeggio. <laughs> oh, good. To warm well, up. Why don't we skip the scale? Then, if we have time, I'll, I'll like to listen. But why don't you go and show me your etudes, Kreutzers? Okay. Okay. Um, I have five and four. Um, I'm looking through my correspondence. I've been losing everything. <laughs> Okay. Here I go. I'm gonna do the fourth one. Okay. Okay.
but I'm going to start live classes pretty soon. I already teach live at San Dominica and at Crowden, but look here. Do you see that? Now look here. I don't even know how. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Somehow your hand is going up and down. That is a huge waste of energy. You still play actually very well. I'm very impressed. You know? Somehow by moving the see what you do? You know? Something like that. I hear it. Practice it on one string and just practice it. And how practicing on one string will stop you from going like this? Uh, you can do it slowly and then gradually get faster with maybe the metronome. No, but how is it going to help you not to do this? You can look at your bow. Mm, there is a better way. Think again. Uh, I don't know if it has to do with the shoulder. <laughs> Something you can do to yourself that will force you to be straight like this. To move what my, is it? To move. Duct tape? <laughs> no. Um, no violence. Moving my wrist? No. Hmm. No violence required at all. Just smudge. Uh, to uh. just keep it straight? But how can you control that? That's the question. Uh, All right. Uh -huh. I'll share the secret. Don't tell anybody. You understand? See? You play two strings simultaneously. If you flip, flip flopping, you will play by a large instead of staccato. Try. Try D and A. And don't go as fast as I did. Just go. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, that is so good. Do you now understand? You use basically the same technology, but you stop doing this because you have to stay in that straight plane. And that was the only thing that was wrong with your beautifully played eight. Keep pushing the tempo gradually, one click a day, but practice open strings, two open strings with that staccato. So you basically put your train back on the rail because your train goes a little bit like this. Understand? It's Otherwise, like in the middle of track. like a roller coaster and then it's like, okay, I'm going to go straight now. Yes, exactly. You want to really go straight and not to flip flop from one string to another. Show me the other A2. Uh, the fifth one. Okay.
without crashing today at this time. If you can, you're done with that one. Yeah. Okay. Let's get the challenge. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. to the first half of it. Show well, me. only the fourth measure, but... That's fine. Can you play for me at bottom to talk together first, please?
chorus now and play top to bottom, please. <laughs> to run. 
cache. You just need to find the nodes G and E. So simply just play the simple notes, right? Number eight, that's at the top of the next page. Oh, 
season are we in? <laughs> I'm 
sorry. You, you need to wipe the tear off of your cheek, okay? No, oh, that's very romantic. Come on, no, really, it'll drip on your violin. <sighs> Boy, that Halloween party is so let's good. Go. Mm.
this was excellent work. Really, really, really excellent work. So at the very, very end, you will place the last note. Alright? The other two things that I need you to do, and I need you to write it down so you don't forget. You have something to write with? Yes. Okay. I need you to play all the fortes heavier because your sound is a little bit too surfacey. Do you understand what I'm asking? Yes. Good. I also need you to try to play all of that stuff with a metronome because you keep changing the tempo. You I played did well. play it with metronome. You did? Yes. Well, keep on practicing with a metronome always. Do not play without metronome. It has to be very, very, very steady. When you change the tempo back and forth, you become weaker. So what are the two things that I need you to do for me? What was your tempo in the metronome when you played it? Uh, well, it was 55. Um, okay, let's try that. Show me, from the beginning. My metronome is really high pitched, so it might be kind of loud. That's good. Let's do that. Is the, is the carpet wet? Okay. Mm -hmm. I will try to figure out what the <laughs> But it's 6,000 for books, right? <laughs> I don't know. I need a left wait because I need to I need to figure out what it would be out of it. Okay. All right. I'm still teaching, so I have to go. Okay. All right. Bye. Sorry about that. I'm trying to figure out the health insurance for my kids. No problem. Uh, San Domenico closed the conservatory. I'm still teaching the virtuoso program, but I lost my benefits. So now we need to figure out the babies. Now listen. See this? Right now. That's what we will do eventually. For now. to the throat. Can you try to play like that one? That's it. That's 
Should you do first or third? First one. Play it with a lot of emotion. Let's go. I'm messing with the just came off. And what came off? I need to like kill it. Here. Well, can't you ignore it? Well, there's a string what, that... What's happening? There's a little string on her bow. Just ignore it for right now, okay? I'll cut it afterwards. Sorry. No problem. Mm -hmm. I can do the third one. <laughs> 
no, no, no. I was talking about this one. This is uh, very good work. I have My uh, only concern uh, about uh, uh, is uh, the metronome. Uh, and you play all the rhythms correctly. You did very well. You play in tune, you play with passion. Uh, but uh, you sometimes rush and then slow down. Rush and then slow down. Okay. And that's what I do not like. I can try do you I can try doing it with the metronome. Okay, try it. Said, I would very much like to hear that. Should I just start at 60? Whatever tempo you like. Also, I did learn some of the second page, I think. Maybe. Yeah. There's a string on her bow. Give it to me. Well, I can't. It, I, I'm going to cut it, okay? It just take a second. Well, sweetie, you have three minutes left, then I have to stop. Do you think you can survive for three minutes with that string? Just go second run and keep on going. You know, I think she's just tired. It's, it's a long day here. I understand. And it's a lecture too. And right. a ridiculous one too. Go. <laughs> Sustain the notes that you were dropping before. 
only practice with a metronome. And this is pretty much a good tempo. You will probably play on stage a little bit faster, but don't go too much faster. Play with a great, sustained, clean sound. Here is the homework for you for this. I want you to learn for me the next two or three lines. By yourself, the best you can. You could ask your mama for help, but don't fight with her. So in the whole or second. you just practice by yourself and just listen to the music, listen to the recording and learn a couple of lines. Two, so, three lines from so the page. So on the second page? Oh. I kind of yes. know it. You kind of know it? Kind of. Yeah. Well, then kind of learn more than that three day lines from it, okay? Okay. <laughs> and please try not to be grumpy. You know that I love you to death, but it doesn't make me happy to look at your grumpy face. I'd rather look at your smiling face. And you played well today. Okay? I've got to go, dear. I'll see you next week. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome.